Well, we've just set off now from uh, our nice uh, moorings at Uddlesford. Uh, another fine evening had at the plough last night. It's superb. It's fast becoming a really good place to plough on the Coventry. Fast becoming a really nice place. So, away we go. On our nice little jaunt to... Well, I'm not telling you this one yet. You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Just a quick apology, I inadvertently, going doing one of my little history things, said that this was known as Ogley Junction. Well actually it's not, and I apologise for that, it's like I thought it was, it's Uddlesford Junction, but down there, a long time in the past, 60 or 70 years ago, was Ogley Junction, and it's still signposted, so that was my mistake. And I hate getting things wrong. So where we're going through now is Uddlesford Junction and Ogley Junction was further down that canal arm. And the canal arm, as I told you last night, was the Wiley and Essington arm. Well, we're just coming up to uh, your normal common garden bridge over the canals, but, there's something very important on regarding these bridges and it tells you something what happened years ago and if it didn't happen the odds are the Coventry Canal would never have been built but for now to confuse you a little bit this just for now on each bridge you see a number so on this particular bridge it's number 81 now bear that in mind because something happens at a place called Whittington and it is very important in the development and creation of the Coventry Canal now, we're still travelling along coming towards Whitton and I'll give you that little conundrum about the bridge number. So what I'll do, we'll have a little saunter along, I'll put on a little bit of music for a few minutes as we're relaxingly going along in the sunshine and then I'll come back to it and uh, we can see if you've got the answer. Right, you've seen the last bridge, what I was talking about, you've had your little musical interlude <laughs> and now we're coming to another bridge but actually on the bridge now you will notice there is something different and quite simply there is no bridge number it has changed to the name of the bridge now you think to yourself what relevance can that be to the history of the Coventry Canal well next 
I'm going to tell you a little story about it because it's amazing what little snippets you can come up with the Coventry might never have been called the Coventry Canal but what happened was in 1768 the customary uh, Act of Parliament was passed for this canal to be built but and in some ways it's like the modern world in other ways it's not 17 years later it wasn't completed and the reason was politics of the canals and what happened was in those days competition was frowned upon because those shareholders of the canal companies were terrified absolutely terrified that if certain canals opened their canals could lose business and therefore they wouldn't get their rich pickings of dividends so this was a major thing but what happened was where you saw the, the bridge change to a bridge name that was because and there's a canal up here called this name the Birmingham and Faisley Canal Company took on the task of building this part of canal of the canal and they never used bridge numbers it was always bridge names so that's ENTS the change now it didn't finish at that because there was a lot of frustration and work to be done so in 1790 in Whittington and there's a plaque there as well but I've missed it uh, to commemorate this the Birmingham and Faisley Canal Company and the Trent and Mersey Canal Company joined forces to get this canal built and without that happening it's every likely scenario is that this wouldn't exist this is a plea to CRT from people who voted for the best part of 40 years you honestly need to start doing more cutbacks on the vegetation and this is a re and I really do mean this because everybody's complaining as we are going along and also some of the canals I mean we're on the Coventry at the moment and some of the areas on this canal are so silted up it's dire so that's a plea to CRT to please do something I know you're a charity but we all pay a lot of money to be on these canals and you need to get on top of it well we're just going through Opwas and facing each other are two canal side pubs one of them is called the Tame Otter and one called the Red Lion so and these are popular moorings as well so we have that one on the right which is the red lion and you turn round and that one is the tame otter now all I'll say <laughs> is we don't stop here we always carry on past so I'll let you make your own decision on those pubs.
just left the facilities, as they say, or what you can call facilities, uh, at uh, Faisley. Uh, the, the CRT offices were closed, so they got rid of all the uh, they got rid of all the rubbish disposal. And I know for a fact that the flush for the Elsons has been broke for over a year, and it's still not. Uh, fixed which is uh, not good and the water tap is broke so that is another failure and, you, and they just you just you know CRT they just can't get away without doing this they've got to start keeping on top of things that's not easy that that repair of that water tap and that flush is a doddle there's no excuses for that. So we're coming to another junction, Faisley Junction, but this is a real one this time. <laughs> to the right, you can get into Birmingham or get onto the BCN quite easily. Also, if you fancy it, there's a <laughs> Drayton Manor theme park nearby, and just further up, an RS. Uh, an RS. An RS PB. Uh, nature reserve if you want to go up there but we are going left to continue our journey on the Coventry Canal which if you notice again now because that was the Birmingham Faisley on the right which still has names on but now we have gone back to numbers on the bridges so we are going up the Coventry Canal to somewhere very very special for us and our boat it's got a very special place in our thoughts well, we're on the first two and last two locks of the day uh, called Glasgow Locks 1 and 2. A little bit slow filling and sometimes the pounds run a bit dry here. But we're nearly at the end of our journey for today. And I'll go into more into that later. So this is the last lock of today in a pound, if you just look. With monotonous regularity this starts to go low. And sometimes, if you're just more on the side, you get ooped on that. It's a bit of a pain, so I'll try to stay in the middle here. We're coming out of Glasgow Locks now. And this is where all things change. We're going somewhere now for several days now which has never been seen on YouTube. 